My name is Johnette Downing. I'm from New Orleans. I'm a children's book author and a children's musician. So I travel all over the world playing music for kids and reading my books. So when I was approached by the New Orleans Pelicans and Audubon Nature Institute, they said we have two stipulations. We want you to write about a pelican and about the wetlands. I love the beauty of the book, the Petit Pierre and the Floating Marsh. Um, I love what it says and how it says it and how it can relate to people on any level, whether you're a child or an adult. Proceeds from the book help wetland education programs and that's really important because children need to feel connected. It's exciting for me too to, to be able to partner with Audubon Nature Institute. They, they care about all the things I care about, our animals and our plants. And I think this may be the first time an NBA team partnered with an author, an illustrator, and a nature institute to create a book, a real book for children that, that we hope children will really love and families will treasure this for a long time. Audubon Nature Institute and the New Orleans Pelicans are thrilled that Petit Pierre and the Floating Marsh will represent the state of Louisiana at the National Book Festival in Washington, D.C. this year. And we can't wait for the official book launch at the Louisiana Book Festival in October. Petit Pierre and the Floating Marsh, written by John Ed Downing and illustrated by Heather Stanley. Way down south in Louisiana, there's a floating marsh, a wetland. Gators and critters will tell you the story about one little pelican that was in a quandary. Petit Pierre was different from the rest. Unlike his siblings, he would not leave the nest. His mother told him it was his turn to fly, but Petit Pierre refused to say goodbye. You're all grown up, his mother said. You're not a chick anymore. You need a new home. Now go out and explore. But where will I live? Where will I go? He asked his mother who said, you will know when you know. Just remember, wherever you roam, friends and family are what make a home. So with a loving nudge, she sent him on his way across the southern sky into the unfolding day. So if you want to find out what happens to Petit Pierre, pick up your copy of Petit Pierre and the Floating Marsh at the Audubon Nature Institute or at your local bookstore. For more information, contact audubonnatureinstitute.org.